Today's paper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun, all over the world, Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, Bowl Weevil Retrieval. <laughs> Gumshoes. Carmen San Diego's crew of craven cretins has struck again. This time, it was a case of weevil evil in Enterprise, Alabama. This is a boll weevil, an insect that damages cotton by laying eggs in the young bud of a plant. A horde of these critters can destroy many acres of cotton. The last thing you'd build a monument to, right? Wrong. This boll weevil monument was erected in Enterprise in 1919. Now, here's the story. Alabama used to have a one-crop economy, and that crop was cotton. But in the early 1900s, the boll weevils got busy. For two years in a row, these hungry little critters ate huge portions of the cotton crop in Coffee County, Alabama, before it could be picked. Did the farmers give up hope? Nope. They started raising other things like livestock and peanuts. The state developed a diverse and healthier economy and wound up more prosperous than it was when they relied on just one crop. And Enterpriseians thought it would be nice to thank those esteemed boll weevils for their help. But the insect-inspired statue has been stolen. Nimoy, Carmen's cosmological con artist, beamed into Enterprise, beamed up the monument, and whisked it away. Your mission, Gumshoes, neutralize Nimoy. We turn the weevil to Enterprise and then capture Carmen San Diego. The treasure's been caught and the cook must be stopped. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Chanel Nixon. Joe Feldman. Jacqueline Solomon! And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hi. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? Very good. You've heard about the case. We're going to start you off now with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you. Chief, let's go. Greg, Nimoy has stolen the Bull Weevil statue, and there's no time to lose. Here's the rap sheet on Nimoy. Moy, 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 moy. She's a wanted criminal in seven galaxies and nine dimensions. And here's what we know so far. Gumshoes, Acme Weevilnet has tracked Nimoy to a major East Coast U.S. city that was completely planned by the French engineer Pierre L'Enfant and the African-American surveyor Benjamin Banneker. Today, many of its citizens are African-American, but you'll also find Vietnamese, Lebanese, Thai, Ethiopian, and other ethnic nationalities. Now, no matter what language you speak, it's probably spoken there. Nimoy might even run into someone who speaks her language, Roddenberryan. Greg. Chief, thanks a lot. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it New York, Baltimore, or Washington, D.C.? Remember the clues we heard? Pierre L'Enfant and Benjamin Banneker and people of many ethnic backgrounds. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Trying to find Nimoy and the Bull Weevil Monument. Chanel's ready, so is Joe, and so is Jacqueline. Chanel, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said New York. New York. Joe, what do you think? I said New York. New York. Jacqueline? I said New York. New York. The answer we're looking for is Washington, D.C. Ooh, sorry about that, guys, but it gives us some time. Now we'll find out about you. Chanel, tell me about yourself, will you? Hi. My name is Chanel Nixon. I like to collect, um, collect stuffed animals, yeah. and I like to talk on the phone with my friends. Very good. Nice to have you here. Joe, tell me about you. Hi, my name is Joe Feldman, and I like to dance around with my friends and play volleyball. Very good. Jacqueline, how about you? My name you? is Jacqueline Solomon, and I like playing soccer and going shopping. Very good. Nice to have you guys on the case. Please welcome them all to the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Okay, we had a tough break with that first one. Everybody stays at 50 crime bucks, but now for our next clue, we turn to an informant from Acme Beaknet. Take a look. Gumshoes, head for Toucan territory. Nemo is in Salvador, the capital of the state of Bahia, watching a capoeira exhibition. That's the martial art of foot fighting done to music. It was brought here by African slaves during the 15th century. They weren't allowed to fight, so they disguised capoeira as dance. Some Bahians tried to teach capoeira to Nimoy, but they couldn't find any part of her that looked like feet. <laughs> okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Colombia, Brazil, or Argentina? Remember the clues that we heard? Toucans, Salvador, the state capital of Bahia, and martial art called capoeira. Okay, come up with the nice as close as you can, please. Chanel's ready, so is Joe, and Jacqueline is too. Chanel, what do you think? I said Colombia. Colombia. Joe, what do you think? I said Brazil. Brazil. Jacqueline? I said Argentina. Argentina. The answer we're looking for is Brazil. Nice job, Joe. Okay, so that means Chanel and Jacqueline, you stay at 50. Joe, now you move into the lead with 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job. Now, for... Oh, that sound means one thing. It's time for us to now check in to the Roach Motel. Come on, let's take a look. Ah. Hey, Coco, what's up? Oh, Greg, hi. Hey, gumshoes, Nimoy's in a European city where I once spent my vacation. Here, I took a few pictures. <laughs> First stop, the Champs-Élysées, the city's most famous avenue, elegant shopping, the Arc de Triomphe, and excellent croissant crumbs. And next, <laughs> the Louvre, one of the world's largest museums and home to many famous works of art. Yeah, that Mona Lisa oil painting made for some pretty good eating. <laughs> ah, next, uh, La Tour d'Argent, one of France's most famous restaurants. It overlooks the Seine and Notre Dame Cathedral. But with food that good, I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, and here I am, almost meeting Mitterrand. Is this any way to treat a tourist, I ask you? No, it's ridiculous. No. Kafka, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kafka. Thank you. Th thank you. You know, maybe for next season, we ought to think about getting a grasshopper. They're not nearly so testy. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Paris? Lyon or Brussels? Remember the clues that we heard? Champs Elysees, Louvre, and uh, Notre Dame Cathedral. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, please. Joe's ready, so is Jacqueline, and Chanel is ready. What do you think, Chanel? I said Brussels. Brussels. Joe, how about you? I said Brussels. Brussels. Jacqueline? I said Paris. Paris. The answer we're looking for is Paris. Nice job, Jacqueline. Okay, so Chanel, you're still at 50. Joe goes up to 60, and Jacqueline goes up to 60. Crime bucks. Nice. Okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions have to do with uh, Nimoy's most recent known whereabouts, which is Paris. Each correct answer is worth five. Crime bucks, hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Before the Louvre became a museum, it served many other purposes, but it was never a royal residence, a soccer stadium, or Joe. Soccer stadium? That's right. It was never a soccer stadium. Nice job. Five for you. Takes up the 65 crime bucks. Question number two. There are many flying buttresses in Paris Notre Dame Cathedral. Is a flying buttress a trapeze artist, a bat, or a structure that keeps the church Chanel? A bat. What's that? A bat. Sorry, it's not a bat. Jacqueline. A trapeze artist? It's not a trapeze artist. I'll finish out the uh, possibilities. Is, is a flying buttress a trapeze artist, a bat, or a structure that keeps the church from falling down? Joe? Keeps the church from falling down. That's right. Nice job. Bye for you. Good strategy. Takes up to 70 crime bucks. Here's the third question. The Tour de France is an, is over two, is an over 2,000 mile race around the country. What kind of race is it? Jacqueline. A uh, bicycle race. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. So that means at the end of that round, Chanel, you're still at 50. Joseph goes up to 70. Jacqueline, 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Anybody could still Greg, get this. come into my office. Yeah, Chief. I'll be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to... So that means at the end of that round, Chanel, you're still at 50. Joseph goes up to 70. Jacqueline, 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Anybody could still Greg, get this. come into my office. Yeah, Chief, I'll be right there. You guys stay here. I'm going to check on her. I'll check on that monitor, too. What's up, Chief? Uh, Greg, does anything in this office seem strange to you? Uh, nope. Use your deductive skills. 
Oh, you got rid of that mouse, the dead mouse behind the no, wall. No, Greg, this office has lost its color. Well, Chief, did you pay the color bill? Greg, there's no such thing as a bill for color. <laughs> yes, there is, Chief. What? It came in the mail last month. But I never saw it. Well, uh, it, because it's here. It's right, that's the color bill right there. See? Well, it says here I have to send a check for nine cents to the Department of Color and Tinting. Nine cents? Chief, that's more than I make in a week. Well, listen, Greg, if the gumshoes find out we can't pay our bills, they're going to get discouraged. Now, what do you think we should do to keep their morale up so they'll stay on the trail of Carmen? Well, Chief, I'll tell you this. We could make a deal. The gumshoe that captures Carmen San Diego could get a trip to anywhere in North America. Excellent <laughs> idea. Thanks, Chief. Oh, and wait, I think I still may have some uh, color from the last animated clue. Take a look at this. Oh, huh? that's much better. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Now, uh, Chief, I want to remind you, be sure and pay the anti-helium bill. It's what? due today. What anti-helium bill? <laughs> Chief, the anti-helium bill that was due today. Oh, never mind, you probably already paid it anyway. Greg, there is no such thing as an anti-helium bill. It's right here. Greg, go yeah. away. Yes, ma'am. You know, that reminds me. I've got to pay my anti-16-ton weight bill. I haven't... Oh, there it is right there. I've got to remember to pay this. It's due uh, today, I think. Ah! Okay, Gumshoes, remember, uh, we're looking for the Boll Weevil Monument and Nimoy. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just received this phone conversation between Nimoy and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Those Acme creeps are after you. Hide the statue on the south side of Karakorum too. Is that like Star Trek do? No, Nimoy. It was thought to be the highest peak on Earth in the Karakorum Mountains. Map makers usually shorten the name to K2. According to my data, Mount Everest is Earth's highest peak. Yes, but for a while, some scientists thought K2 was higher. No one made it to the top to measure it until recently. No one from Earth, you mean. My people have been golfing up there for centuries. Guys, 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 listen, it's okay. Fellas, look, look, hey, look, it's a joke. See, it's a joke. America, I'm okay. Thanks very much. It comes this way. Rockapella, ladies and gentlemen. Rockapella, one more time. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Pakistan, India, or Nepal? Remember the clues that we heard? Uh, Karakoram Mountains and K2, the world's second highest peak. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Chanel's ready, so is Joe, and so is Jacqueline. Chanel, what do you think? I said Nepal. Nepal, what do you think, Joe? I said Pakistan. Pakistan, Jacqueline? I said India. India, the answer we're looking for is Pakistan. Nice job, Joe. Okay, so Chanel, you're still at 50. Joe moves up to 80 crime bucks. Jacqueline, 65 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Now, we have just heard that Nimoy has left Pakistan, so let's pick up the chase. Who's the chase? <laughs> Each one of these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Nimoy bowled her weevil to Bangkok. What country is she in? Chanel. Thailand. Thailand's right. She crept across Thailand's southeastern border. What country is she in now? Jacqueline. Um, Cambodia. Cambodia's right. She sailed over to Brunei. What sea did she cross? Joe. Aegean. Sorry, South China. She went to the capital of Papua New Guinea. Name it. Chanel. Um, Manila. Sorry, it's Port Moresby. She was last seen bargaining in a bazaar in Bandung. Name the country, Jacqueline. Um, Indonesia. Indonesia's right. That means at the end of that round, Chanel has 55. Joe, 80. Jacqueline, 75 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Okay, everybody take a deep breath, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Nimoy is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, everybody's ready. Gumshoes for our next clue. We turn to Acme Celebnet agent Joey Lawrence. Joey. All right, Gumshoes. Head for the nation once called Salon. 
According to legend, the Sinhalese people there are descendants of a lion. It all began when a North Indian prince, who was the lion's grandson, came to this island and met a demoness named Kuvani. The prince made her his queen, but after a few years, the prince was unhappy with his wife. So he banished Kuvani to the forest. She was put to death by her own people. He, whatever happened to happy endings? Thanks, Joey. Okay, guys, name the uh, country, if you will, please. Is it Maldives, Sri Lanka, or Madagascar? Remember the clues that we heard? Nation once called Ceylon and uh, the uh, Sengalese people. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Once you have that, lay it down right there in front of you. Okay, Chanel, we're going to start with you. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is right. Nice job. Good job, buddy. Takes you up to 85 crime bucks. Jacqueline, you have 75 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Sri Lanka. Nice job. Takes you up over 100. 105. Joseph, you have 80 crime bucks. You risked 20 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 20. I mean, what'd you, what'd you say? Maldives. Maldi yeah. Maldives is not right. You'll go down 20. That means Jacqueline and Chanel, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Joe, listen, you were a great detective, man. You did some wonderful things for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit. It includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're hanging on the rim, a portable globe. Good work. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now what you have to do is go to Sri Lanka to try to track down Nimoy. What? Hi, how you doing? Uh, what you have to do is track down Nimoy and try to bring back the Bull Weevil Monument. You have to find them both, bring them both back. But I want you to know we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, have a briefing. <laughs> The folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides of Sri Lanka. Have a look. Sri Lanka, an island country off the coast of India, inhabited by people of many faiths, including Hindus, Muslims, and Christians. But the majority are Buddhists. This particular Buddhist statue is in the Dambula Rock Cave. Peruse the Kandi Ethala Perahera. This annual 10-day festival features thousands of dancers, drummers, and chieftains. These folks are picking leaves of tea, Sri Lanka's largest export. Now, you'll know our boll weevil from the indigenous field bugs. It has a rounder underbelly, a more elongated snout, and elongated snout, and it's 16 feet tall. Here's an acne trunk net agent getting a rub down after a hard day's work. Now ask him if he's nosed out Nimoy. These fishermen in Beruvala have found a great way of getting out to the fish without using a dock or a boat. Still, pretty crafty, eh? That's the kind of ingenuity I want to see you use, gumshoes. But why are you just sitting there, hmm? Get moving! Pin that interplanetary pest! who did evil to the weevil. Nimoy and the bull weevil statue are in Sri Lanka. Go get them. Hey, guys, come on. Here we are in Sri Lanka. Put your stuff down right over there and take a walk right over there. Let me show you what we have. Hey, look. Special guest host. Okay, guys, these are the possible locations where you will be able to find Nimoy, the bull weevil monument, and a warrant for Nimoy's arrest. The first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Jacqueline, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Um, Colombo Public Library? Colombo Public Library. Nemo. Nice job. You got Nemo. Remember, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, Horton Plains? Uh, Horton Plains. Okay, you got Nimoy, then you got the loot. You know the order you have to go in. Loot, warrant, crook. You get a free turn. Be careful. Go um, ahead. the Peta District? Peta District. No, nothing there, but you did a great job. You found two of them. Okay. Chanel, go ahead. Horton Plains. Horton Plains. Fertile Bugs. Go ahead, um, Chanel. Cargills. Uh, Cargills. 
No, nothing there. We'll turn these back around. Jacqueline, your turn. Um, Horton Plains? Horton Plains. We won't bobble, but they won't fall down. <laughs> Go ahead, Jacqueline. The Mahavali River? Uh, Mahavali River. Nope, oh, sorry, nothing there. Oh. Turn it back around, Chanel, go ahead. Horton Plains. Horton Plains. Stolen statue. <laughs> go ahead, Chanel. National Museum. National Museum. Nope, not there either. Okay, turn it back around, Jacqueline. Um, the Horton Plains. Horton Plains. Pilbert Pass. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Polonarua. Uh, let's see. Polonarua. <laughs> no, sorry, nothing there. Okay, Chanel, go ahead. Horton Plains. Horton Plains. You've got to change your evil ways. Chanel, go ahead. General Post Office. General Post Office. The warrant. You have the loot. You have the warrant. Do you remember where Nimoy yeah. is? You do? Go Columbo right ahead. Colombo Public Library. Colombo Public Library. Is she still there? Yeah. You yeah. won. Nice job. Come on over here, Chanel. Nice job, buddy. Okay, listen. You got Nimoy. Now all you have to do is put her in jail. Pull on the chain and do it. Nimoy. Nice job, buddy. One more. Uh, uh. Okay, listen. Now, we're going to talk about your next adventure just a little bit. First off, Jacqueline, you were a great detective. You tracked Nimoy all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. You never know when you'll need a fast fact. That's why we equip our gumshoes with a portable electronic encyclopedia. It takes only seconds to scan the complete rundown on any topic. Ecuador or the space probe, Galileo or the Amazon, it's high-tech help in hooking heinous hooligans. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, now, what you have to do is find Carmen San Diego. If you find her, you get the trip. What we want to find out from you is where would you like to go if you do that? Inside, there's a piece of paper and a pen. Write it down and tell us. idea why you might want to go there but don't tell me we'll keep that a secret now what we have to do is find Carmen San Diego usually we get a phone call about this time and it happened again I can't believe it hello she's right here it's for you hello e, another amazing earth concept Gail I must go this to Carmen look for her in Europe Chanel what she said look for her in Europe okay Chanel you and I are going to Europe chief here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled Portugal Spain Ireland, Wales, France, Luxembourg, Italy, Poland, Ukraine, Finland, Albania, Croatia, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. All right, you know what this is all about, right? Yeah. Okay, what you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each one with a marker. If you're right, you'll hear this sound. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. It's very important, Chanel. If you hear that sound two times, the wrong sound, on one marker, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we'll continue. But if you're right, eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. How will you feel? Great. I think so, too. How will you guys feel? Come on, Chanel, let's do this thing. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. You guys cheer her on. Good luck to you, Chanel. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come on to Finland. Finland. Do it. Come on. No, no, no. Try it again. Try it again. Finland. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Got to go fast. Luxembourg. Come on. Come on. Do it. Hurry. Hurry. No, try it again. Try it again. Hurry. You got to hurry. Hurry. You got to try something. Try something. You got to hurry. Go. Come on back. Come on. Come on. Wales. 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 Come on, Chanel. Cheer on, you guys. Let's hear some noise. No, try it again. Try it again. Yes, yes. Come on. Ukraine. Ukraine. Do it, Chanel. Ukraine. Come on. Yes. Spain. 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 Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Albania. Albania. Oh. You got three and 45 seconds. I didn't bag. Give her a nice big round of applause, you guys. Come on, buddy. Woo. I tell you, you worn out? Are you, are you worn out? A lot of running, I tell you. But I'll tell you what, you got the loot, you got the uh, crook. That's not bad, Chief. What do you say? You've done great work today, and we're proud of you. I hereby upgrade you. You are now a fluke. Congratulations.
Congratulations, Miss Sleuth. And since you are now a sleuth, you will be able to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. What do you say? Right. Oh yeah, put that thing on there, buddy. Nice job. You feel good? Yes. You should listen. You've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rock Well, she sneaks around the world from the US to Carolina. Sticky finger felt up from Berlin down to Belize. Take you for a ride on a low motion China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Feel their soul in South Korea. Maybe another country. Uncle from the Red Sea to Greenland. In case you haven't heard, this school year, many of our youth programs have changed to a new time slot. For instance, you can now see Sesame Street every weekday morning at 9. To get a complete lineup of our children's programs, consult your newspaper listings or our handy program guide, Signal 56. Speaking for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, you nasty thug, you heinous crook, you better put back what you took. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as it is.